I'm afraid the young groom-to-be isn't out of danger. He brought something back with him into the lodge. You should attempt to remove that ring from his finger without alarming the happy couple. What were you doing out there? I'll keep your chaps on, Alistair. We just ran into some robe-wearing punks with bad manners, and the Vault Hunter and I had to beat a sense of decorum into them. Nothing more to worry about. Let me get a look at that fancy ring there, Wainwright. Oh, sure, of course. The vessel has been chosen. It's only a matter of time. Wainwright, what are you saying? What? I, I don't... I don't know, but I do feel a bit, uh, sideways. It is as I feared. Another moment of your time, if you would, at the counter. That ring on his finger has powers beyond mortal comprehension. The Lodge is slowing the effect to a degree, but the outcome is inevitable. You must find a way to remove it. Or I'm afraid he will miss the ceremony. Entirely. There is a man known as Burton Briggs who is proficient at uncovering... secrets. A detective of sorts. He can help you learn more about this ring and its origins. Look for him at his agency. The Eyewitness. Do be careful. Your actions this night have stirred the bonded into quite the frenzy. The streets will be rather hazardous. You could always stay here. The Lodge wants you to be... comfortable. provides you is only temporary and while my beloved recovers I will have to content myself with you so let's play worm mission update I roughed up a local priest and he told me the pearl of inevitable knowledge was last seen in a haunted shipwreck within the cavern of unmentionable sorrow wish me luck <laughs> idea where Burton Briggs is at. Ah, damn it. You're talking to me. Okay, I think Burton was talking to Halan a while ago. There we go again. Much obliged, and thank you kindly. Enjoy hurling your guts out. Oh yeah, sure thing. You're very welcome. Oops, I spoke again. Holy crap! You scared the bequeezes out of me. What do you want? Looking for some fella named Burton Briggs. Where's he at? I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack at this rate. Look, I saw Burton with... What did you... Did you just... No? Okay. Saw Burton with Gina. Leave me alone. I'm... What was that? Nothing? I'm okay. Lass, 
Please don't be some kind of weirdo like those other two. Oh, piss off with all that. I don't need this right now. Or ever! Screw you! Whoa there now! Don't gotta be coming at me like that! Just looking to find Mr. Burton Briggs is all. Burton? That drunken moron who plays detective? Yeah, I know where he is. Told me he was going off to the freaking cemetery like an idiot! Now get out of my face! Sheesh! Who put a bee in her bottom? Morons! Everyone's morons! And I'm so angry about it! Ah, damn it! <laughs> Stand by! Getting tired over here. Back to the fight with you. Hey, uh, you really saved my ass, friend. Thank you. Now, uh, what's it doing here again? Oh, right. I almost forgot that I can't remember anything. It's my curse. Name's Burton. Burton Bray. But I think I go by Bert. Let's try it out. Call me Bert. Uh, howdy, Bert. How are they hanging? No, that's not right. Burton it is. So, what's your story, friend? Some mad lad dropped a cursed ring that got itself onto me bud Wainwright's finger. Trying to figure that whole thing out. Cursed ring? Hmm. I've got a hunch it's got something to do with those bonded. And I always follow my hunches. I think. But if it's the bonded you're investigating, 
You should head to the town archives. Here, this key should get you in. I wave saying thanks. As for me, I can't remember what the six and a half hells I was doing here, so I'll head back to the old uh, lonesome shop. Now that we're working together, here's a completely unsolicited model about my life. Actually, I was enjoying the quiet for a... It all started with... Uh, I'm not sure. A man without memories. There's just a cloud of dark fog in their place. But I know I'm searching for something. Answers to questions I've already forgotten. Wait, what was I saying? Just between us, Vault Hunter, I feared this weekend wouldn't have enough excitement, but now we are embroiled in the cult secrets, diabolical curses, and great big monsters. It's the wedding I hope this drink up. I'm still wrestling with this mystery. I really don't know whether I go by Bert or Bird. What was the battle? I see the slaughtering rap! the archives so I can help me friend what do you keep your voice down this is a place of quiet learning and solemn contemplation hey Harriet let them in won't you I helped you find that missing locket didn't I oh fine but don't you cause a ruckus you hear me and this makes us even Bert why that work I wasn't sure if that lock bit was true. Now, you'll want to make your way to the holography. I see you delving into my past, Worm. <laughs> oh, you are tenacious, aren't you? <laughs> I haven't had a play thing like you in quite some time.
search log day one. My name is Eleanor Olmstead. My beloved and I have arrived on the rim world of Xylorgos. We have finally found the beast of legend after years of chasing its name across the stars. Gideon. Supposedly it means eater of hearts, but the original language is dead and lost to time. A charming introduction as ever, Vincent, my love. Gideon's physiology can only be described as otherworldly. Though its body is dead, its heart still beats. This requires further study. Who knows what xenobiological revelations it has for us? This is the start of a whole new life for us, my darling. Right, right. The founders. Vincent and Eleanor Olmstead. Uh, you'll find more holotapes around the archives. Uh, I'm guessing. I'll let you handle this bit. You'll have to excuse me for a moment. Uh, I must be stoically pensive. If I were the only stairs, I'd hide my past where nosy citizens wouldn't happen across it. No, no, it's not right. I'm burdened. Burden bricks. Burden. Face me and tear me. 
of day 37. My beloved has made a fascinating discovery. Go on, tell them, dear. I am thrilled to report. The mountain above Githian's resting place is home to a treasure trove of ancient ruins that seem to be from some sort of precursor alien civilization. There are technological marvels inside that mankind has only seen in dreams. This could change everything! Even more fascinating, my initial studies hint at a link between Githian's eternal life and the technology itself. This will require further experimentation. Uh, do be careful, my beloved. There are some lines we should not cross. It is called the Eater of Hearts, after all. <laughs> Darling, really? You worry too much. Interesting. But there must be more. Find another tape. Again, uh, not ordering you around or anything, just, just trying to help. I have a hunch there's another way in. There always is, friend, if you're clever. <laughs> See if maybe there's a ventilation shaft or something you could get into. Always follow your hunches, friend. That's what I think I do. The bonded are monstrous, warped by the power of Githian. It's uh, pernicious. Is that the right word? I can't remember. See, I, I lost my memory. The cloud of dark fog. You're repeating yourself, boy. You already told me that bit. I did? Damn this skirt. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. See, I lost my memory. The cloud. Dark fog! Dark fog! See? You knew what you were going to say before you said it. No. I'm back!
Search log day 162. Jeez. I am worried about Vincent. He is obsessed with Githian's heart. I can hardly understand the things he's been saying lately. He believes the heart holds the key to eternal life, but we still barely understand the mutagenic and metaphysical properties of Githian's power. I don't know what to do. Wriggle all you want, Worm. It will make no difference. Most likely. And 
Don't go ask me how I remembered that. Dark fog.
Decoy deploy!
time. Once you wriggle back to your burrow, tell my Vincent I'll see him again very soon. Accept your fate. A fine wine you are. Search around for anything that might shed some more light on your situation. Hey, hey, you, you want to hear a joke? I got jokes coming at the gals over here. some work for you when you have time to swing by. Also, I'm very lonely. Welcome back to my humble establishment. I am over here at the counter. Hey, skinny Malink. You said you could help with this whole thing. Indeed. Please place this relic you've recovered into the player so that we might reveal the mysteries of the young groom's curse. I seek sinister sounds. Personal log day 175. Vincent went to Githian's heart chamber alone. I chased after him, but I was too late. The heart consumed him. But he still lives, entombed within. Perhaps there is still a way to free him. Vincent's research showed the precursor technology had some sort of bond with Githian's heart. I will need something to focus this bond. A ring? Yes! I will bring a sample of Githian's heart back to our ship for further study. <laughs> ah, of course. The ring's power comes from the monster's heart itself. Well then, our purpose is made clear. We must destroy the heart. Eldritch Adventure Ho! The monster's heart lies deep below the tower. Directly below the wedding venue, in fact. That same power coursing through the young groom is blocking off all access. Well, what if we use the power of the heart to cut through the force field? Eleanor said there was a piece of the heart on her research ship. Ah, there is an old doll research ship high atop the cursed mountain known as... Negur Meshai. You heard tall, dark, and spooky? Head to that mountain! I'll stay here and keep an eye on the grooms. Might I trouble you for the use of your... Uh, talents? Of 
quite helpless here. Oh, what I wouldn't give to go on a rousing adventure with you. If we don't destroy that monster's heart soon, I fear my very own heart might succumb to this sordid situation. going to last, those two. <gasps> I can see it in Wainwright's heart. He knew he couldn't make his betrothed happy. At least this way, he will be part of something greater than himself. A love beyond anything he's ever known. If only you could see that. Entering the claw zone!
Hammerlock, boyo! The way to the mountain's blocked, and there's some sort of hunting camp. Got any ideas? Ah, yes, I have read about the local hunting traditions. Do you see a horn nearby? Often we hunters use those to announce our arrival so we aren't mistaken for an animal. Give that horn a mighty blow! So, it's welcome by combat! Ah, what a thrill! Have at it, Vault Hunter! My warriors! Well done! Ha-ha! Enough chatter! We slash! Did you know? <laughs> Help me up, will you? Drink up! Back to the slash! You are strong, Guido. Follow me! I mean, sure. I guess a fight's one way to greet your guests. How else can you know who you share your fire and your kife with? Now, let us share tales over the flame. Time to feast. Just in time. Man, I hope you're hungry, Guido. Feast. Nourish yourself for the next slash. I insist. You are my honored guest. I feel damn incredible. What the hell is that? <laughs> Kaif is strength, Kaido. It is power. Now, what brings you to my camp? Heading to that cursed mountain. Sounds like a good time. You journey to Nagul Nashai. That mountain is a place of corruption. Madness. You have bested me, Kaido. And so we are now friends. If the Cursed Mountain is your destination, then I will help you. The path to Lagoon Nashai lies behind that mighty gate, but the ice that blocks it is unnatural. To melt it, we will need a very special kind of kaif. The kaif of the Wendigo. Let's go to the cave known as Kasari Dabar, the dark and twisted home of the Wendigo. You will find it deep within the Kankerwood, across a frozen. 
grass and water. <sighs> this planet breeds rare and dangerous beasts. <sighs> Back home, I was the region's tracker. But soon, my quarry <sighs> became predictable and unsatisfying. That is why I came here. No warrior can hunt the same quarry year after year, not without losing his edge. A hunter can never stop hunting. Death comes for us all! But you first! Hydra Sukna, are you? <laughs> now that was a slash! One monstrous head, three beclawed bodies. All the realm feasted on Kaif that winter. I read all about that hunt in the quarterlies. Aster, I am impressed. You are a fearsome hunter. If you are the same Havelock who slew him over us, the Barkid Queen, it is an honor for our paths to have crossed. We should hunt sometime! Together! Oh, yes, that would be delightful. You are near the woods now, Guido. I wish you luck in your slas. And if you fall, if the Wendigo stains the snow with your blood, I will skin it and make its pelt into a matching hat and coat to wear at your funeral. For we are friends. Unhand me, you thorny bushes of the devil! I do hope I'm not crashing your hunting party, but I was developing a terrible case of cabin fever. Well, shall we track down and kill this no doubt majestic creature together? Always up for a good slash! Let's find that Wendigo! That's the spirit! We hunt! Hold still, I want a clean pelt! Search the area for tracks. Found something, Hamo! Well done! Look at the size of these tracks! 
This Windigo must be fearsome indeed. This way. This weekend, I did not expect to spend quite so much time watching after my demon-possessed soon-to-be hubby, but, ah, such is life. Still, it is nice to get some fresh air. I do hope Winnie's all right. But to be honest, I feel a little guilty leaving him at the lodge, but he's not much of a hunter. Like I said, Ray. from Hold still I want a clean pelt This one's fresh we're getting closer Vault Hunter? No, never mind. We should focus on hunting this fearsome Windigo. What's in your mind, Boyle? Get it out now! I love Wainwright. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. It's me I find myself questioning. Winnie needs someone at his side, but the nerve in my body was pulling me out of that lodge. Rather... No matter, let's focus on the hunt. You see it now, don't you? of a rack, but thankfully not the stench. This outpost is more fortified than others around here. It seems they've pulled up the drawbridge. See if you can go around and lower it from the other side, Bolt Hunter. I shall stay up here and keep an eye out for predators at your flank.
Death comes for us all! But you first! Before you get hurt. Got any more for the meat grinder? Ambush! Two arms, Vault Hunter! Let's get that gate open! <laughs> Not far now, Vault Hunter! Not far now! Come, the Windigo awaits! <laughs> Ooh. 
stench is powerful in there. Let's go in. A rather large creature, isn't it? Or a busy one. Let us pause a moment. A hunter never goes in for the kill until he knows his quarry outside and in. In this case, in. Here's one by all. Oh, it's a whiffer. Ah, the odor of seared flesh. The windigo must burn its prey to death before eating it. Fascinating. Perhaps we'll find its weakness if we keep searching. Ah, that one is mostly bones. The windigo must feed on small creatures and also something earthy. Now I glean the truth in the stench. The Windigo cannot find smaller prey who feeds on the mushrooms of the forest. Our path becomes clear. <laughs> Bake the Windigo first, and then go in for the kill. First, Gisellium Avantis, a rare and deadly paralytic. It won't kill a creature the size of the Windigo, but it should daze it enough to make it a fair sloss. Here. Now, to create an effective bait, we will need wolven meat and the juice of some local mushrooms. Meanwhile, I'll keep on the Windigo's trail and make sure the devil doesn't elude us. You picked the wrong battle. Hospitable proprietor mentioned a factory not far that makes a sort of mushroom tonic. Ah, the fungal brewers believe their tonics give them visions of worlds beyond. Perhaps reality is like a lawn where multiple doors exist to endless rooms. Tonic provides that splendor. I say. for a barrier.
Anyone up for some vengeance? How you saw this going?
juicer allows the user to make whatever concoction they desire. The brewers have left their favorite recipes nearby. For your dark needs, I suggest you brew only the strongest available option. That mixture will not do. I'm afraid that mixture will not be up to the task. That recipe would only render the Wendigo nostalgic for its childhood. Hardly a combat advantage. That mixture will 